Let's look at solving equations that are quadratic in form. For example, let's solve this equation for x. Now the first thing you'll want to notice here is that x to the fourth is the square of this. In other words, this is the same as x squared squared minus 13x squared plus 36 is equal to 0. So if we let u equal x squared, we can substitute this into this equation to give us u squared minus 13u plus 36 is equal to 0, which is a quadratic equation. Therefore, our original equation here is quadratic in form, isn't it? All right, how do we solve this equation? Well, we can factor the left-hand side, and it factors into u minus 9 times u minus 4. Now we have a product of factors equal to 0, which means the first factor, u minus 9, is equal to 0, or the second factor is 0, which means u is equal to 9, or u is equal to 4. Now a very common mistake that students make here is that they'll think they're done at this point. However, we're not done, are we? This is what u equals, but we're asked to solve for x. And we can do that by substituting back in these values of u into this equation here. Which gives us 9 is equal to x squared or 4 is equal to x squared. And then taking the square root of each side, we get x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 9, which is equal to plus or minus 3, or x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 4, which is equal to plus or minus 2. Therefore, our answer is x is equal to 3, negative 3, 2, or negative 2. All right, let's look at another example. Let's solve this equation for y. Again, this is the square of this. That is, this equation is really 3 times y to the one-third quantity squared plus 2y to the one-third minus 8 is equal to 0. Again, let's let u equal y to the one-third power, which we then can substitute into our equation. And this gives us 3u squared plus 2u minus 8 is equal to 0. And again, we have a quadratic equation, which we can solve by factoring. So the left-hand side factors into 3u minus 4 times u plus 2. So we have a product of factors equal to 0. So either the first factor is 0 or the second factor is zero. Adding four and dividing by three will give us u is equal to four thirds, or subtracting two, we get u is equal to negative two. Again, be careful here. Do not think that you're done. Remember, we have to solve for y. This is what u is equal to. So we'll take these values of u and substitute them back into this equation to solve for y. That is, we have 4 thirds is equal to y to the 1 third or 
negative 2 is equal to y to the 1 third. And now we can cube both sides. So when we do that, we get y to the 1 third cubed is equal to 4 thirds cubed. Or y is equal to 4 cubed, which is 64, divided by 3 cubed, which is 27. Or cubing both sides here gives us y to the 1 third cubed is equal to negative 2 cubed, which means y is equal to negative 2 cubed, which is negative 8. So these would be our answers. And this is how we solve an equation that's quadratic in form. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.